accordance with the understanding reached. In the absence of mutual commitments to fully implement roadmap obligations and agreed terms of reference for negotiations, an impasse has developed which must be overcome. A key challenge has risen from the Israeli government's proposal to restrain rather than freeze settlement activity. Such restraint would not conform to roadmap requirements and would reportedly not apply at all in occupied East Jerusalem. The decision of President Abbas not to seek a new term as Palestinian president in a context of uncertainty over both elections and Palestinian unity reflects a worrying assessment from a leader unquestionably devoted to peace that the political process lacks sufficient content and credibility at this time. This is a loud and clear wake-up call. If we cannot move decisively forward to a final status agreement, we risk sliding backwards with both the Palestinian Authority and the two-state solution itself in peril. Israel is continuing with its disregard to uh, the un unanimous uh, position of the international community regarding stopping all settlement activities, including the natural growth. They are illegal and they are also the main obstacle in the path of the peace process. Uh, one of these days, Israel should be held responsible for, uh, uh, for uh, implementing these resolutions. And the fact that they are dragging their feet and refusing to implement previous resolution, that does not mean that we should give up on the Security Council 